So Velvet Revolver was, you know, there was this benefit for Randy Castillo, right? The drummer from Ozzy. I remembered it, yeah. And I was with Duff in this uh, diner called Swingers. And I remember Matt used to live around the corner, Sorm. And Matt Sorm, just total coincidence, dude. Me and Duff are in there eating lunch. Matt comes in. He's like, hey, man, you know, uh, Randy Castillo died. And, you know, we're going to throw this benefit for him. And, you know, we, we're going to, you know, we should jam. And we'll blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and, and Duff's like, okay, cool. He wasn't talking to me. He was talking to Duff. And, uh. Dude, so that's the first time that Duff, Slash, and Matt had played together in a long time, and they played with Josh and Keith from Buck Cherry. Okay. And so, and at the same time, me and Duff are in the studio making this, you know, recording these songs with Fitz, and uh, so I'm like, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, this is gonna be so cool, like you know, you have a band and like, you know, we got these cool songs and dude. And then like a couple, a week later, Duff calls me. He's like, Oh dude, you know what? I got some bad news. Like I, I gotta, I really gotta see this thing through with Slash and Matt and kind of check it out. Cause it's kind of a vibe and we haven't played together in so long and it feels really good. And so, you know, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that thing. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so bummed, <laughs> so crushed. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And that was it, man. And then, but I was still talking to him all the time. And, you know, like a month later, he's like, oh, I think we're going to, you know, part from part, part ways with Josh, you know, Todd from Buck Cherry, the singer. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, oh, I think we're going to get rid of Keith too. Cause it just doesn't feel right. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. And he's like, you should learn these songs. They had recorded like eight songs. He's like, you should learn these songs. And then you come down like next week. I said, okay, cool. And he, and then the next day he calls me and he says, dude, I, I couldn't take it anymore. I just, I fired Keith and, you know, or I told him we, he was done and, and, you know, now you should come down tomorrow. So I had like a day to learn these songs. I'm freaking out. How many songs did they throw at you? Eight. Eight songs. Plus G, a couple of GNR songs. They're like, why don't you learn a couple of like, you know, just a, just a jam. And I was like, okay. And so, I mean, the bottom line is I just went down, I brought my little pedal board, you know, I had my thing that I did and, and it worked. And at the end of it, I, you know, was about to, I like went down to like get my pedal board and put it back, you know, in the case and leave. And they're like, no, just leave your pedal board. You know, why don't you come back tomorrow? I was like, okay. You know, and dude, for months, it was never like you're in the band. It just was like, all right, well, we're going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to do it tomorrow again. Okay, cool. And then we did it, you know, I mean, I think it was like six months of playing five days a week before, you know, it was really like you're in the band, even though there wasn't really a band. That was a weird thing. But those guys, you guys, Velvet Revolver, Velvet Revolver they were workhorses, like just before Scott Weiland, but just yeah. you guys as a band writing the music they were just yeah. you could see why guns and roses their work ethic yeah basically yeah hard. oh yeah dude and i learned a lot from duff and slash as far as you know work ethics and and integrity you know as far as like you know I, at that point they they said we're we're basically have this room locked out and we're gonna rehearse here from two to five two to six monday through friday from here on out which you guys and are at the, mates yeah, and we wrote like 60 songs in 10 months. We had this big wow. dry erase board, and McBob was there. You know, we'd, we'd come up with these stupid names for the for the for the songs because they none of them have vocals, so we'd just come up with these dumb names. And uh, and then we started looking for singers. You know? Get the hell out of here, you crazy kids, but make sure you click on that. I'll see you later.